another thing you speak talk about in the book is i guess the criticism of livestock and their use of water and and land mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about that yeah so um in terms of water first it's often said that you know um cattle are a big water hog and if you look at the totality of the water that they use you could you could reach that conclusion but the fact is that 95 percent of the water which is used by cattle is rainwater it's not irrigated water it's not from it's not dredged up from lakes it's not nothing it's it's, it's not brought in it's rainwater and that that water would fall on the ground whether the cattle were on the on the ground or not so it would just if the cattle were not there eating the grass then that rainwater would just really kind of go to waste in a way so it's not a net draw mm. on the mm. on the ecological the ecology of the system so land is is connected with that in a way because what would happen if the cattle weren't there well the cattle do take up a lot of land it's undeniable that a great deal of the world's farmland is used for cattle it's also true that 70 percent of the world's farmland and the the um, percentage is very similar in the uk 70 percent of that land cannot be used for growing crops so it can only be used to grow cattle as it were um you know a farmer mm. who um who i interviewed um he, he he raises pigs and he raises um uh, cows in in devon and he said you have to grow food in the right place and what grows in devon is grass you can't grow anything else it's very hilly and and it also grows cows very well because mm. Cows love the grass. So you're growing these two consistent forms of food and, and nourishment in the right place. You can't, it's, it's extremely naive to think that we could just simply get rid of the cows, change all that land over, and uh, grow food on it. Now, a lot of people say the current argument is well, we don't need to swap that land over. What we'll do is we'll rewild it take the cows off it and rewild it. And then we'll grow, we'll take a little bit of the land and grow some more crops. Again, I think the numbers that I've seen from studies that purport, um, that, that, that argue for that case are very dubious. And that there's a lot of work still to be done on whether or not that's possible. Uh, there was a study done in um, uh, Scotland by a group of researchers uh, called Leninin et al. And they discovered that in the Scottish environment, for instance, if you were to swap over um, from animal protein to um, plant-based protein, the amount of land that you would require to grow those plant-based proteins would be just the same as the amount of land that you're using already to feed those cattle. So you're not really getting a gain in land use um, in an environment like Scotland with that particular topography and everything mm. else. So it's super simplistic to look at that, that kind of land use and make judgments on the basis of that alone. The other thing which I find annoying, irritating, and again, overly simplistic is when people say, thanks for watching the Radical Health Rebel YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share with your friends and family or share via your social media. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of new video clips from the podcast. And if you want to watch the full episode, completely ad free plus premium content and join the Radical Health Rebel Patreon community, head on over to the Radical Health Rebel Patreon channel at www.patreon.com forward slash Radical Health Rebel. Thanks again for watching.